my AI money printer for print on demand is coming to life and you have direct access to it. What's up everybody? Welcome to a new YouTube video. You probably see on my screen something going on right now, but you're probably not sure what it is. Well, this is the inside of our passive income school community where I have things like a chat. I have things like different quizzes. I have different campuses and different content that people can sign up to. And one of the things that I promised, and you guys have seen, I've been doing progress reports on this literally every day for the past few days now, actually for the past two days now, is this software that I said that I would provide completely for free for all our members in the Passive Income School. You guys know that print on demand has been a thing for me that has helped me make money over the years. And I've been wanting to automate the process of creating designs. Well, here I have the software that I've created called a the Design Sensei, AI Design Sensei, and I give it completely to everybody for free in my members area. So if you want to join my members area, click the link in the description. Not only are you going to get paid content that you can watch, but also software just like this. This tool right here is a software tool that you can use to create different AI researched designs for you. And you can create literally 50 designs in a matter of seconds. Watch me do this. I've done this before, but I'll show you again. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'll pick a font. Let's say I pick this Game of Thrones font. And then what I go over here is I'm going to type in Game of Thrones quotes. Okay. And I can select a style. I'll just leave it at any style for now. Won't even select it. And I will just type here an example of a Game of Thrones quote. So I'll type in a quote like, I drink and I know things. Which I'm pretty sure uh, Tyrion Lannister said that. Uh, you guys can correct me in the comments. But I'll go ahead and hit generate here. And what this is doing is this is generating 50 different designs that relating to Game of Thrones. Now these are text-based designs to start off with and like I said this is only version 1 of the software. So we have Winter is Coming for example, we have I Drink and I Know Things, uh, Dracarys, we have all kinds of different ones here. The North Remembers, well let's go ahead and put now like an, an image for this design. So let me go ahead and do that now. Alright, so as you can see, I have my logo that I created here, and I'm just going to just drag it and drop it in my image upload section, and I'm going to select it. So this is not something, like I said, that I would typically use, obviously, because this is a Game of Thrones type of concept, and obviously that's trademarked, but I'm just using it to kind of illustrate a point here. So I can also here control my font size and the color of my font. I might choose something that's similar to like this bronze type color just so that it kind of uh, is similar maybe even go something a little bit lighter on the brighter side something like that the north remembers and then what I'll do here is I will go ahead and export each of these images uh, individually so we have 50 of them here now this might not necessarily look good right now but if it's on a black background it might look a lot better once it actually goes live so now what my game plan is is I could sit here and look at every single one but instead of doing that I'm just gonna go over here and click auto export all and that's if I just want to export all the images right now something that I'm doing and something that I'm creating for the future is a tool that will connect to this tool as version 2 and it will automatically upload those designs for you but for now version 1 will be completely for free like I said for all my different members where you can create these designs very very quickly and like I said this is just a nice little luxury to have as opposed to sitting there manually doing all the work you know going into Canva doing the research typing up the text uh, creating image after image after image um, even if you use bulk create on something like a Canva, it's still going to take a lot of time uh, to sit there and manually toggle everything. But here, I literally just created 50 images instantly. So, I mean, we could just look up a few here. We can open them up. And you can see here, uh, I'll kind of show you how it looks. First of her name, Beyond the Wall, uh, Stormborn, 
I mean, so many different ones here, right? And this is just like something that is a casual image that could technically apply to these different Game of Thrones type concepts. And some you could upload to something like a Redbubble, some you can't. But let's actually show how this would look like in a real circumstance. Okay, great. So this is a brand new Redbubble account that I didn't even, you know, finish the preliminaries to actually get the account published. So this is not, uh, you know, any kind of account that's published whatsoever. But let's just click here and let's just click copy work. Now, in order for this to work in the future, when we use that AI automation tool that will upload these images for us and tag and title them and do all that work for us, we're just going to go over here, click copy settings, hit replace all, and then just select one of these images. So I'll select, for example, this one. And I'm not sure what text it says on it, but we'll just kind of let that be for a second. And the reason why we do this copy setting is just so that we can have less time worrying about fixing where how it all looks. So ideally, we would want to fix it once, and that would be it. We wouldn't have to fix it at all for the rest of the 50 designs. And if you're familiar, Redbubble allows you to upload um, 30 designs a day currently, every day, for your Redbubble account. So, you know, just go through, fix it, and then you have like almost two days worth of uploads in literally created in about 10 seconds. Um, so not difficult whatsoever. Now, as tips for all my members who are going to be using this software pretty consistently, first off, do things that aren't going to be trademarked. You know, Game of Thrones is obviously trademarked. Uh, this is, like I said, just a simple example. Um, do things that aren't trademarked. Do things that are easy to utilize. Get creative with your designs. You can use outlines here. Um, so if you could see here, I can add outlines to my text. I can upload different kinds of fonts. And you'll see how cool sometimes uploading different kinds of fonts can be. Uh, you can get some really wild outputs. Uh, just to actually show you guys here, some of my outputs here, um, I wanted to kind of show some. I showed these ones like yesterday, for example. You know, like outputs like this. But I want to show this other output that I had with this text that was like, it almost looked like it was painted on. Well, I don't have the photo here. I'll probably just slap it on top of this video when I edit the video, but I'll have it on screen. But when this, you know, when you can see a design like this on a t-shirt now, like a black t-shirt, it kind of looks more realistic now. You know, it kind of makes sense to, uh, to t you know, to purchase it. Uh, when you see it on a white background, sometimes it doesn't always look that way. And of course, you can edit your text, you know, the colors, the outlines, uh, the font, the sizing, uh, the outline width. There's a lot you can edit, depending on how the font actually looks. Um, sometimes the outline will be look like it would be spray painted on. Sometimes it will look just like chunky. You know, it just depends how you want it. You can increase the size of the image, make it smaller. You could even use some of our images in the bank as a little test. Or you could just simply upload your image, or you might not want to use an image at all. You might just want to have purely just text. It purely just depends on you. I mean, never worry about uh, making it perfect, uh, especially because, like I said, this is version 1. So in reference to version 2, this tool right here is a great addition for the future versions, which, if you could look here, all I could do is just make some easy selections, just like this. Right, I'll select short tail here, include in tags, limited, I'll hit generate. And what this will do is it will generate title, tag, and all kinds of other information for all 50 designs. And so I'll have an Excel spreadsheet for literally all 50. And so when I feed this into my AI tool, this is going to automatically post those designs for us on Redbubble. And I might set it to do, let's say, you know, conservatively 20 designs and upload them. And it will do its upload, and then the next day, it will do another 15 or 20 or whatever number I set, and the next day, it will do another 15 or 20, etc. But like I said, that would be version 2. This is purely just version 1 for anybody to access, and version 1 will have improvements very soon. Like I said in my yesterday's video, I'm going to introduce more algorithms, more structures for design. Instead of just having purely just text, we can add more than just text. 
and and one as one image we can have curved text we can have um you know graphics like little elements within the design we can do patterns there's a lot we can do and like i said it's all completely for free for my members area so i'll leave the members uh area in the description box down below this is purely an addition to all the content um i'll click on the csv file here if anybody's just curious uh, I clicked export all, but that's perfectly fine. I'll just open um, open it up once it kind of fully loads. But you could see automatically these 50 designs are um, being downloaded all over again. But yeah, that's it, guys. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, curiosities, leave them in the comments down below. I'll leave a link in the description to our members area. We don't just talk about print on demand. We talk about a lot of different money-making strategies that we've never mentioned here on YouTube. Things like how to build a YouTube channel, things like black hat strategies, all kinds of different tactics. We're also going to be including more content like Etsy, KDP, a lot of, con a lot of different stuff that I make money off of behind the scenes that I don't always necessarily talk about here on YouTube. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.